So part of the IL streaming video series is uh, the building block that you need where you have your intermediate. So you stream out and about and you send your stream back to either a cloud service or if you have enough bandwidth at home and you have a good enough PC for it at home, then you can send your stream from your gear back home to your OBS. You can add your overlays there, you can add your alerts there, you can handle your scenes like your, your be right back failing scene, um, and things like that. This particular setup is interesting uh, because it handles two cameras, it handles two streams. So you have a scene when both cameras, both streams are live. You have one where only one is live, you have one where only the other one is live, and if both fail, it goes to the fail back page. So I'm going to go through the setup and all the bits and pieces that are needed and uh, where the culprits are um, and show how it's done. And if you want to do this with SRT instead, there will be another video in the series that explains that. So the first thing is that we need to get um, OBS downloaded. Uh, Windows. There you go. Yeah. And we need the Yep, we want to optimize for streaming. Universe is okay. We'll be doing this right now. Bitrate encoding, estimate bitrate with bandwidth test, yeah. Oh, hang on. Um, bitrate 1000. That's what we're going to use for Twitch. The settings. Now. Go to Mu uh, music. Um, okay. And then we take music. Okay. Wait. 
that. No. Advanced audio properties. And we deselect all but one and two. Oh, sorry. And for music, we also deselect two. Now, desktop audio properties that is going to be system. Okay. And mic aux properties should be chat mic. Very good. So closing this. So I recorded this at a little bit later point. Um, it just basically demonstrate why we've just done the uh, audio settings there um, and how I set up my Twitch settings. So if you go into settings here um, and first of all, you go into um, output um, what I've done here is I've gone to advanced and I defined the twitch what track as track 2 and if you recall that was because um, I would I, I removed music from track 2 so the idea is that in your stream you can have music but it will not be saved in your what on twitch this is a twitch specific thing um, so uh, I wouldn't, uh, with other services, it doesn't work precisely like that. I'm, I've chosen the NBank uh, encoder. That is because I have an NVIDIA uh, RTX 3060 in this machine, so that's fine. The other thing I'm doing is I'm doing a rescale of the output to 1664 by 963. And the reason for doing that is that it's a better resolution on Twitch uh, for mobile and the likes. It basically makes space for for, for the chat and, and all that. So that's uh, generally a recommendation, but you could you can you can stream in full HD if, if that suits you better. It doesn't really make a big difference there. Anyway, rate control is CBR. Bitrate is now set to 6000 because that is what Twitch maximum recommends, um, especially if you're not monetized. Um, keyframe interval I've changed to two. Quality I have at high. At, at uh, preset I have at quality and profile I have at high. And I removed the psycho visual tuning. Um, so uh, audio I've pretty much left alone. 48 kilohertz is a good uh, it's a good way to have it at. And video as you can see, we had full HD 1080p and with a downscale filter of B cubic, um, common FPS value 60. So that's all well and done. And that's basically my recommendations for Twitch. But you should really look at, first of all, what are the best settings for the platform that you want to stream on? And um, have, a, have a look around the forums, like uh, especially the OBS Discord is really, really good for picking up pointers on how to set it up for or a particular service you want to stream on. Back to them. Install the WebSocket. WebSocket is needed for, uh, for the loopy switcher. And it's also needed for, uh, um, uh, what to call it? The OBS tablet so that the remote can go in. So, um, so ask me for firewall. We want to open it up fully. Allow access. Yeah. We'll just set the password up. And for now, we're only going to do IPv4. Okay. 
Good. So that's basically um, our initial installation done. So the next thing then. Close this, close this. So this is loopy. It's the OBS studio. Back here. And if I go back. Uh, here is the Endings. Yes, Node.js, MPV we will need, VLC we will need. So VLC integrates with OBS also for the VLC media. Um, so, okay. Show, cancel. It. That's not what I wanted. I wanted and one back. Important thing is that you need if you install 46 bit OBS, you will need 46 bit VLC. That's very important. So otherwise it won't work properly. And unfortunately, the uh, download for VLC um, defaults to 32-bit. So we have that one. It's great. MPV. Uh, let's see here. Windows builds. There's a release folder. Okay, so it's MPV, Node.js, and we go for the LTS version. It's generally a good, good plan, so it's the long-term service. And then there's this one. Um, Yeah. See, so you think that's what I need to do? Oh. Yeah, that has everything. Great. So That means we have all the files. The documentation on Loopy Switcher is not quite complete um, for the RTMP version, which is why this video is being made. So, um, anyhow, the next thing is Node.js. Yeah, 
to install the necessary tools. Now to run the script. Name. So we close that window. I'm not sure if that actually completed, but it was hanging for a long time. So what we do is we go into documents, loopy, and then there's the install. So we run this. Um, go with yes. I need to start OBS. Okay. So that has worked. Minimize OBS. Got this. Okay. So that's, that's okay. I got a, a little notification. It says web socket connection, which is quite annoying. So what we do is we go into OBS. Web socket service things. And disable the enabled system trail ads. You don't want to constantly be notified. That's great. So next step is back to downloads. Take this and say and we'll take copy, put this into this PC. Paste that in here. Yeah, continue. Wait. So make a shortcut here. Shortcut here, you yeah. know. Cut here. Great. So what we need now is we need the configuration um, and the MIME types. Now I can't just plug that or edit that here, so you copy that here. Minimize. Open with Notepad. Okay. Hmm. There's a whole whole pile of stuff in here. So I'm writing certain sections.
um, including mime types is important. We want the statistics. Um, yeah, that's basically the two things that I added the ping three seconds and the include mime types. And we save that. And we start our end games. So we'll complain again, run anyway. Firewall, yes, it's allowed for all networks. And that's it running. So now we can start. OBS is still running. And we start the loopy in Gangs monitor. And it has already decided. Oh, say here, yeah, we're missing scenes. Okay. Back to the files. We go to documents, loopy, edit. So we have some scenes here that we need to create. So we have um, scene, fail, intro. Yeah. Oh, so no. Um, okay, so I have the three scenes. And right now the active scene is seen. Starting loopy, it's on scene. It's now gone intro. Did it change? Yes, it did. So that's when you first time started up. And the next step now will be to get the stream going. So, talk with this. So, install some more stuff because we, so we have installed Node.js, we have installed Ngx. <clears throat> we have not installed MPB yet. Um, and said I probably need Venra for that. Okay, that's installed. And now I should be able to get to this, yes. Same thing, we'll take all of this. What's in the MPV folder? Fonts. Okay, take all of this and we drag it to I I put it you know, usually in the normal structure, so that's going here and it's going here. And creating a folder, new folder. PV. Uh, 
available. So start MPV. That's working. Great. Create a shortcut for it. Nice. Go back to our tutorial. So we have OBS, Ingings, Node.js, MPV, or VLC. I haven't installed that yet. Uh, probably because OBS is open. Yeah. And we have VLC. Great. Now, back to the tutorial. Download this one, if link as, um, and we put this to the desktop. Save. And same with this one. Save. Okay. I'm only setting up for one stream right now, but I've downloaded both just to be sure. So again, we have live stream one, that's correct. Hmm. Let's just have a quick look at the tutorial. Put it in the MPV root folder. Yes. Okay. Let me take these two. What? C drive program files MPV. Just continue. Great and then create shortcuts. Yes. So we need to do this. This was actually underscore one. Great. And back to the tutorial. Oh yeah, the input conf. Um, same thing. Yeah, save to my desktop. That's okay. Plastic. That. And that goes into this PC, C drive, program files, MPV, MPV, in here. Great. Now.
I was still not enough. Okay. To the tutorial. This is what happens when um, when you don't really read read the whole thing in one go. Okay. Oh yeah. Right. So now Artium Steam repeat stream waiting for connection um is obs running no obs is not running ngx ngx falls was already running uh, now loopy loopy is running Okay, and I'm going to set camera up then. And what we do is we go to live stream. RTMP. Select the Wi Fi network, just go with that. Um, and I need to go and find the IP address of that machine. IP config, so dot seven is what we want. Create. I don't want adaptive, I just want best quality always. So that starts the live stream. Oh, and there's our little here's the feed on MPV. can see Loopy has now switched to scene. Uh, okay, that didn't work. See, go type minus 10. Ah, yeah, there you go. And then transform it to screen and lock that thing in. Great. So that's basically. Um, you can see the desktop audio here, but I don't want that. Um, I want music, maybe. Uh, so that's okay. Actually, mute the desktop audio there. So the fail one, we'll just go and we'll add an image. Okay. I'll see, do I have something in my pictures? I do. Take that, 
โอเคเอ่อสกรีนเบรดเลสออฟเฟลโอเค so we put this back the this one back one one back here so you see basically that there's a stream that came in so now I'm going back to the mobile phone you can see that's still here and we just move that a bit out of picture. And I'll end the live screen. Yeah. Done. So you've seen it has now started to count the fail. Ten seconds is what's in the configuration, and then it goes to fail. Now I had this already set on fail in the background, as you can see. So we'll start the uh, stream again. Mm. To my device. <laughs> and go to live stream again. a t m p I've seen settings. Everything is already in there, apart from the bitrate. We set that again. Start the live stream. Didn't work the first time. Pressed it again, and you can see it's come back, and it has switched to the scene. And I ended again. Ten seconds, and it jumps to fail. Perfect. So the next step is to get the second one going. So this is stream one. Um, I'm start stopping, stopping this one again. Minimize here. Close that. That's great. Um. Starting the second script. Anyway, that's only the first time you need that. So we have these two here. Um, basically, um, go back into. I don't need that file. Um, I need the documents loopy. I need this. So I'm modifying this now because we have stream one, stream two. Um, We see uh, we call them scene one, uh, scene two, and scene both. Uh, we set the list to two. Yeah, I saved. So that's done. Um, we need to create the scenes. 
So we go back into OBS and we'll duplicate. This is uh, scene, scene one, actually scene two. And we rename this one to scene one. So the other thing I then do is I go back into the configuration just so I don't break things going forward. Uh, go edit. Okay. And then I'll change the scene OK also to file one, uh, to scene one. Uh, back to OBS. So we have scene one, scene two. We can basically put this down here and put the intro in the top. And then we duplicate this one again and we call it scene both. Okay. Great. So scene one has, we renamed the source here. That's MPV one. Uh, properties, yeah, MPV stream one. Um, edge title. Window title must match. Okay. So in scene two, we won't need that. We will need a different one. So we'll remove this. Yeah. And in scene both, we obviously want it. So that's done. Um, we we'll start loopy again. In a minute. Start OBS. Get Loopy back in front here. As you can see, it's gone scene both. Now it's gone to intro. Because we haven't been online yet. So, going back in. Uh, find a device. Okay, go to live stream. RTMP, start live stream settings. Okay, adaptive. Start live stream. Start live stream. Yeah, there. So that should start MPV. The problem is the first time and always starts minimized. So you need to do a test before you you leave home. It's gone to C1. That's okay. This is running in background. I have this on the other screen. And um, you can see here in the background, we are on scene one. It has detected that only one scene is up. So that's great. So for the second camera, I am using a GoPro. So we can control your GoPro. Connection successful. That's great. So we'll turn this in a different direction so it looks a bit different. Um, and then we go to live. Set up live. Other RTMP. Um, again, we have. These settings are generally for my Baylor box. So, live. This is stream two. And here we go and we type in. Okay, so select the Wi Fi network. And then go live. Good. So as you see, the second stream is coming up. So as you see, the second stream is coming up. Coming up. And that means we go to the scene both. And we create another window capture. Uh, it's called MPV2. MPV2, okay. And we want stream two and must match. And it should be Windows. Sorry. 
Uh, string two, yes, there. Okay, great. So again, this is, uh, oh, it's actually dropped. So I don't know why I did that. Out. I have a look in a minute. Oh, I might have clicked somewhere, it's okay. So great. So we take this, lock that in, and take that one. Lock that in. So that's the double, right? And then in scene two, you know, capture existing MPV2. Okay. And we lock that in. Great. And we're unseeing both now. So um, we go back and we open these again. We can see what's going on there. And we open Loopy again. And Loopy says, Loopy says one of our streams is gone. I don't know why. I'll have a look. I mean, we'll try. Let's see. Okay. Let's go again. Connected. Continue. Go live. And as you can see, we were on scene one. Second one comes up. It clicks to scene both. So it now stopped. The action it should switch to scene two, which is the GoPro. It has, as you can see. Um, I'll bring this one back up again. So the DJI Action 2 is coming online again, so it should make both screens. There you have that. And then we'll stop the GoPro. So it should switch to scene one at this time. Prep. Switch to scene one. Great. Done. Um, I'll take my phone out of the view here. Okay. And uh, now we'll stop the stream on the DJI. And as you can see, second camera fails. So it should go to fail now after 10 seconds. There, bang. Now it's gone to fail. Great. So the next step is that we want to record or we want to set up the audio separate for the two, two streams. And um, the way we go about that is that we will need, well, we will use the system des desktop audio that we're already using. But we will be using for the second stream, we will be using something different. So if you go here um, and we go to vbaudio.com, um, this is digital, uh, this is voice meters website. But what we want specifically from them is the See here, audio apps, we want the VB cable. So what the VB, VB cable does is, see here, open this. <clears throat> open this. And just use the file explorer. It's great. Okay. Right. So, um, extract, there. And it's ministerial, that's, that's important. Install the driver. Install. Okay, installation complete and successful. Uh, successful, you may reboot your system to finalize the installation. Okay, that, that's fair enough. So, 
I just restart this. Okay, and we're back. Good. So what we want to do is we want to start in gigs first. We need that. And the other thing is we want to modify these files. Um, but what this has done for us is if I go to the sound here. We go to the sound settings. This is obviously wrong because this needs to go back. So we get a cable input now. It's called the VB Audio Virtual Cable. Um, I am using system, obviously. That's good. Mm. So we then go to properties, um, open file location. That's great. And we'll take these two, copy. And we paste them here. I, be, I can't edit them in that folder, so I have to edit them here. So this one, um, edit, yeah, great. And open the command line. So CD program files, oh, hang on, CD backslash program files. CD MPV, so wherever MPV was located. And then MPV dash dash audio dash device equals help. So what we add here is we add dash dash audio device equals mm -hmm. And we want the system TC Helicon. So for this one. That's for our first stream. Okay. And then edit this one again. Dash dash audio audio device equals and here we want the digital cable input and that forces the two to um, That forces the two to different uh, new devices. Let's see what we have here. So what I need to I can close this now, and I can copy them or move them back here, and it will ask me, yeah, replace, continue. Okay, so that's those two. So now we can start OBS. And we can start uh, Loopy. Which has gone to scene both initially. Oh, that, that was where we were on. 10 seconds. And it goes to intro because this is the start of the stream. Minimize this again. And this one. So we have these two up and running again. I'll do it like this. <clears throat> okay. Now what we want to do is we want in scene one, um, the audio that we want here is uh, actually desktop audio. So we want that. Um, I don't want that. 
Zeit. So, right. so we are adding Yeah, okay. Doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. So we have the desk desktop audio there. Um get that. Okay, to ensure that I have and uh, can control them as I go on, um, I'm adding an audio output capture. Create a new, call that stream mix. This is my default. And then the see <clears throat> okay and i want the i want the that same audio i also want in the double right but in uh, scene two i want the audio from the second stream so audio capture new uh, stream to audio Okay, and here we select the table. Hang on. Sorry. Audio output capture stream two. Cable input. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll capture that. Not two. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll remove that. So, stream two. Uh, audio. Back into advanced audio properties, just to double check. Um, we take out the piece in one. It's already put properties. I'll take out the extra tracks. Close. Okay. Yeah. So we have stream mix, stream to audio, stream mix. That's great. So we are on intro right now. Um, I'll grab the cameras again. We, uh, we get mud running. Um, and I'm moving further over here so we can see what's going on. Back in the DJ Mimo app. Connecting to our device. To live stream. Six megabit. We'll start. Hmm. And as you can see, stream is coming up there. Now the important thing is that I have to maximize the window again for MPV for it to show properly. So, and that's it. That's great. So it's working. Yeah. And now we get the second one up and running. Pick up.
Okay, and I will mute myself. This is the audio on camera one. We are starting camera two now. That's camera two coming online. I need to maximize the image again. Okay, so the audio you have is from the GoPro now. As you can see, we have now swapped over to the, the uh, to both cameras and it's taking the audio from the DJI. Okay, so that's a wrap. I have slight issues with my Wi-Fi here today, so that has resulted in fails, but it shows how the switch is working perfectly and basically switching around. Um, I hope this video was helpful and um, see you in another one.